economy has been remarkable over the past year. And remember, when President Trump took office, mm -hmm. people said the stock market is going to plummet. There's no way the economy is going to grow over 3%. Middle class Americans aren't going to see the benefits of a tax cut. And on every one of those measures, they've been proven wrong this yeah. year. So it's really, you have to remember, just to set the context, how amazing it is that we've seen what we've seen this year, given the expectations going into Absolutely. Trump. Absolutely. And let's take a look at some of that as you were discussing it. You know, some of the economic successes, there was the tax reform bill that was passed, the GDP rises above 3%, they were saying that couldn't happen. No way. And all the new jobs, 1.8 million, uh, the unemployment rate dropping to 4.1%, we talked about the Dow hitting record highs over and over again, it just keeps going up, and then the economic confidence, which is at a 17-year high. And that, that last one is really a big one, I mean, small business confidence last year was at its highest level on record. Consumer confidence is at its highest levels, business confidence at its highest levels, that's what's driving so many of the good things we're seeing in the economy. That's what's driving stock market grants at 80 record highs. I mean, hitting 26,000 in the Dow yesterday, that was amazing. That's what's driving economic growth above 3% for three quarters now in a row. The first time we've seen that in 12 years, the economy is growing. And that's good for workers. That's why you're starting to see wages go up because the economy is growing faster than it has over the yeah, past. Yeah, wages day. going up, you know, your 401k going up, which is also good news. And, and as you were discussing that, just to look at it visually, it really says something in terms of the Dow milestones going back to November 22nd of, of 2000, 2016 was just 19,000 and now it's you know way about um, going above 26,000. Look, businesses and investors love the president's economic agenda. They love the fact that he's going after regulation. Mm -hmm. Business owner after business owner talks about how important that is to unleash animal spirits, to unleash capital, and they love the tax reform. They want more money in the hands of businesses. They want more money in the hands of investors because those types of folks know how to use it better than the government does. So they love the, econo the president's economic agenda. They're cheering it while the experts on the left were deriding it, and we're seeing the results. It's really hard to argue with the results we're and seeing. And when you break down the demographics of the results as well, we were discussing like the, the unemployment rate in terms of African Americans, in terms of Hispanics, exactly. also directly impacting them. Yeah, we're seeing broad-based gains. You know, one thing we don't talk a lot about, this past year, we've seen 200,000 job gains in manufacturing. The year before that, we saw a loss of 16,000 jobs. Yeah. The president has said, I want to go after these blue-collar jobs. I want to bring a resurgence back there. And we're seeing it in those economies manufacturing back to this country. Bringing employment back, bringing economic activity back, but again, it comes back to some basics. You cut regulation, you give businesses the freedom to invest again, you lower their taxes and so they have more money in their pockets to put in workers' pockets and to invest in new plant and equipment. You get good results. That's how an economy works, but it starts with giving more freedom back to individuals. That's what the president has focused on. All right, so they were able to come to an agreement on this tax reform bill. We have the you know possible government shutdown coming up on Friday, which we do not need, but I have to ask you this, will this economic growth continue? Because as we were discussing, people said, well, it wouldn't happen, this isn't gonna happen. Now they're saying it's not gonna last. Yeah, no, there, there's a lot of reasons why I think you're gonna continue to see gains in 2018. Corporate profits are high, businesses are churning along, consumers are churning along, unemployment's low. The one risk I think we do have is interest rates. The Federal Reserve is probably going to start raising rates. They have started this year. They're going to continue to raise rates again next year because rates have been so low for so long. Sometimes that can have a negative effect on the economy, a negative effect on the stock market in particular, which has run up so much. So watch that in 2018. See how the Fed manages interest rates. I know that's in the weeds, but that's an important factor. If that's kept at a moderate pace, I think you're going to see these gains continuing in 2018. Businesses are feeling good, consumers are feeling good, and that's good for the economy. Right. And what is the main factor, if you were, if you had to pick out one main factor that, that shows the economy is doing great? I love the business confidence. I mean, to okay. me, that that is so important because you have people out there saying we're excited about hiring, we're excited about investing, we're excited about where this economy is going, we feel good about the policy environment. That's the kind of thing that translates into new jobs yeah. and new investment. When businesses feel good, they act on it. Yeah. That's what I want to watch in the And that's year. what the president said during the campaign. He said jobs, jobs, jobs. Yep. And it's happening. And he's delivered. All right, yeah. Brian, thank you so much. Uh, Appreciate it.